Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all well and having an amazing day. Today's video is an exciting vlog. It's a birthday prep vlog for my daughter Allison's birthday. She's gonna be two on Wednesday. It's currently Monday today. And as you guys see, I started by deep cleaning the stove. In this video, there's gonna be tons of cleaning. And then we're gonna start blowing up the balloons and I'll be attempting to make pizza dough and my first birthday cake from scratch. I'll also be wrapping her gifts and having a birthday haul. Initially, I wanted to deep clean the inside of all the appliances and move the stove and refrigerator and clean behind there, but time only permitted me to only do the stove. Luckily, the fridge and the microwave weren't so dirty. While editing this video, I noticed that stain in the back of my shirt. I think it's pancake mix from breakfast. As the video progresses, it goes away. As you guys will see, the kitchen is pretty empty. She mainly keeps her play food and her utensils in her room and she only takes them out when she plays and then we put them back. It allows this space to not get so messy. Now we're going to be moving on to Ali's room. As you guys see, it's pretty messy. I have tons of boxes in here and toys everywhere. And yeah, I'm going to get to tidying everything up. We took a break and played for a bit and in the meantime, I put the rug to wash. This shopping cart is pretty handy. I use it to go around the house picking up all the toys and then I bring them back to her room and organize them.
will be moving on to the living and dining area. The only areas left to clean will be my room and the bathrooms, but for the sake of the length of the video, I chose not to include those. As you guys see, I took out my handy scrubber. This area gets very dirty with food and requires a lot of scrubbing. For tomorrow, I'm planning to make Ali these um, Dutch baby pancakes. It says that they're a cross between a souffle, a crepe, and a pancake. So I'm gonna be making that for breakfast for her tomorrow. I haven't made them before, so it's gonna be my first time. Lunch, I have an easy Tuscany and pasta. And then for her birthday dinner, I'm gonna make some pizza. It's gonna be my first time making pizza. I don't have a stand mixer, so, but I read that you can make it with your hands. Like, you can mix it, so I'm gonna try. If not, I could just run to Publix and get the pizza dough that's already made. And I'm also going to make buffalo wings, so I got this buffalo sauce recipe. And for her birthday cake, I'm going to be doing this recipe. This is Daphne's Oz um, confetti birthday cake recipe. I've been wanting to do this recipe for a while, so it's gonna be, I'm going to try. I'm at tempt because my baking skills are not that good, but I'm going to try. Um, and I also made my grocery list for all of this. So this is my grocery list. I'm waiting for Ali to wake up so we can head to the grocery store. We're back from the grocery store and this is what we picked out. I took the rug out of the dryer and Ali was so excited to start blowing up her balloons. And we did, and she loved them. Since she's very into Paw Patrols, we decided to theme her birthday party Paw Patrol theme. It's not going to be a big birthday party or anything, I forgot to mention that. It's just going to be something small here at the house for her dad, her and I. But I still wanted to make it special with balloons. Here I struggled to blow up the balloon letter banner. I naively thought that I could blow it up with the machine. Okay, it turns out that all I needed was the little straw that it came with. I had to watch a YouTube video to um, figure this out. It has like a little opening and then you just stick the little straw that it came with. There we go. And then... I purchased the balloons through Amazon. I'll have them linked in the description. The kit actually came with the Paw Patrols for me to blow them up the same with the little straw. But I chose not to blow them up in this video because I wanted them to be a surprise for Ali. I'll be blowing them up tomorrow for her birthday and make sure you guys check them out in my next vlog. In this portion of the video, I'm going to be starting on the pizza dough and the cake. First, I'm going to be starting off with the active yeast for the dough. Here, I'm taking a water bottle that was already at room temperature and uh, I ran it under hot water in the sink because the recipe requires for lukewarm water. I read that lukewarm water is neither hot nor cold and it's actually a bit hotter than um, body temperature. So that's how I got it to be at that temperature, just running it under the hot water. Here I'm going to be taking one teaspoon of active yeast and then I'm going to be feeding the yeast with a bit of sugar. Both of these recipes are from Daphne Oz. 
I'll have her website linked down below. I've been following her since she was in the Chu, and her recipes never disappoint. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for the yeast to bloom, I'm gonna start on the cake. It says that the active yeast should bloom within 5 minutes. Here, I'm going to start buttering the bottom of these pans. The recipe required for 8 inch pans, 2 of them, but I only had a 10 inch and a 6 inch. So that's what I used. Here, I'm gonna be lining the cake pans with parchment paper and I'm gonna be buttering the top of the parchment paper to prevent the cake from sticking onto the pan. Here I was showing you guys the bubbles that the yeast did. In a large mixing bowl, I am adding nine tablespoons of unsalted butter to that, I'm going to be adding 3 cups of graduated sugar. Now, I'm going to be adding 1 cup of avocado oil. Here, I'll be adding 4 teaspoons of vanilla extract. On a medium bowl, I'm going to be adding 2 cups and 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Also, two cups of bread flour. Four teaspoons and a half of baking powder. Here, I added the salt. I didn't measure, I just eyeballed it, but it is one and a half teaspoons of salt. Here, I'm going to be alternating between one and a half cups of milk and the dry mixture onto the butter mixture. Because the recipe required the eggs to be at room temperature and mine's weren't, I let them rest on the counter while I continue to work on the pizza dough. Here I am adding one and a half cups of bread flour. On her website, it says um, all-purpose flour, but on her TikTok, I saw that Daphne used um, bread flour. So since I had both, I chose bread flour, but you could also use all-purpose flour instead of bread flour. And one and a half cups of double O flour. I bought the salt and since I don't have a stand mixer, I use this attachment to mix the flowers together and then you guys will see me add the active yeast. I added 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Since I was getting nowhere with the hand mixer, I decided to do it by hand. Um, I will say that this part would be much easier with a stand mixer.
This was definitely a labor of love and an arm workout. I will say that a Sten mixer is definitely a worthy investment for this. I took the dough away and now I'm going to be taking the egg whites of 9 eggs to continue with the cake. Here I was mixing the egg whites until steep peaks, but as you guys see, I needed a bigger bowl, so I changed the bowl. Here you want to fold the egg whites onto the batter and little by little, not all at once. I added sprinkles here. These that I use have no dyes. I suggest getting sprinkles without dyes. These are wankins. I purchased them from Sprouts. Continuing with the pizza dough, here I'll be adding a few drops of extra virgin olive oil and then I'm going to be splitting the dough into two parts and then I'll be covering the bowls with plastic wrap and tucking them away. While the cake was in the oven, I went to go to the hall, but let me warn you guys, these clips have very horrible lighting. Sorry that I have the, the washer and the dryer going, but I'm going to do a quick haul to show you guys um, what I got for her her gifts on me while I keep them in I'm putting the fence dress. I feel like I haven't finished what I was supposed to say. Today I was supposed to blow up the balloons, but I still haven't, like I blew up the balloons, but I still haven't done the arch, which I'm thinking I'm going to have to do tomorrow morning. This, I'm going to insert a picture of what this is here. Since the washer and dryer just continually kept getting louder by the second, I'm going to continue the video through voiceover. As you guys saw, it's a wooden stand. It has a side for chalk, a side for dry erase marker, and then you could pull out a paper and she could paint. This is a suitcase. I have her name engraved. I'll insert a better clip so you guys could see the name better. Like I had mentioned in my June reset, she needed a little closet refresh. So I purchased all of these items through the Janie and Jack sale. Everything is in size 2 except for the last top in the green set. That one is a size 3. This is the top that is a size 3, 
I put it in the dryer and it fits her well now. I really wanted the headband for this set, but when I finally decided to purchase, the headband was sold out. These dresses are from Carter's. I purchased them in a size 2, but I have to exchange them for a size 3. They fit her the same as her 18 to 24 months, so I have to exchange them. As I had also mentioned, she needed new shoes. These shoes are from Nordstrom Rack. I purchased them in a size 6. The sandals did fit her a bit big, but I think I'm just going to keep them and wait for her to grow into them. The shorts are also from Nordstrom Rack. The tee and the jeans are from Zara. They are the true slim fit jeans. These jeans are my favorite. I've been purchasing since she was a baby. I like that they have the elastic waistband in the waist. And I also like the fit. These pajamas are from Carter's. They are in a size 2, but this too did fit since they were shorts. Here I have a watch. It's a Paw Patrol watch, just since she's into Paw Patrols, and a kite. And a plate set. The plate set came with a cup, a, a plate, and a bowl, and a fork and a spoon. And then I have a towel for the summer for the pool and the beach. So that's pretty much it as you guys saw it's basically things that she needed here i am wrapping her gifts and then i'll include a clip of how the cake looked after i took it out of the oven and how much the dough had risen i want to thank you guys so much for making it this far thank you from the bottom of my heart and if you guys like this video please like it and if you guys are new subscribe hit the notification bell and stay tuned for my next vlog. In my next vlog, I'm going to be sharing her actual birthday, like the day of, and also our trip to Disney. Thank you so much. Bye.